Welcome to NSG 412 Community Health Nursing 3 Study Session 1 Introduction and Overview of the Course Introduction In this study session, we will consider and discuss the historical perspective of community health nursing. We will also explain the goals of community health nursing and list its characteristics. Learning Outcomes When you have studied this session, you should be able to 1. Discuss the historical perspective and focus of community health nursing. 2. Explain the goals and list the various characteristics of community health nursing. Terminology Community health A subject of study within the medical and clinical sciences which focuses on population groups and communities as opposed to individual patients. Health protection. A term used to encompass a set of activities within the public health function. Historical perspective of community health nursing. We will summarize the development of public health or community health nursing in the following four general phases as 1. The early home care nursing stage, which was before the mid 18s. 2. The district nursing stage, which was in the mid 18s to 1900. 3. The public health nursing, 1900 to 1970. 4. The community health nursing stage, 1970 to the present. The early home care nursing stage, which was before the mid-18s. In the period before the mid-18s, the focus of early care was to reduce suffering and promote healing. The early roots of home care nursing began with religious and charitable groups. The first visiting nurses, who were sponsored by St. Vincent de Paul in Paris, sisterhood of dames de Charit, introduced the principles of visiting nurses and social welfare in 1669. They emphasized the belief that home visiting required not just kindness and intuition, but also sound knowledge of scientific principles. It was documented as early as year 1244 when a group of monks in Florence, Italy, provided 24-hour first aid care for accident victims. The social upheaval after the Reformation from the late 16th to the mid 18th resulted in a decline of religious orders and a decrease in the nursing care of the sick and the poor, but the Industrial Revolution caused serious health problems such as epidemics, high infant mortality rates, occupational diseases and injuries, and high rates of mental illness, and a resulting increased attention to community health. Much of the foundation for community health nursing came from Florence Nightingale's work during the Crimean War, 1854 to 1856, when she provided nursing care, established kitchens, and implemented sanitary procedures that resulted in hundreds of lives being saved. At the same time, another major healer and nurse was Mary Sickle, 1805 to 1881, who helped populations in Central America, Panama, and Caribbean. She was called the Black Nightingale and was hailed as a national heroine in Great Britain and awarded a commendation from Queen Victoria. The district nursing stage, which was in the mid-18s to 1900. In the mid-18s to 1900, district nursing began to develop, and this was owed to Williams Rathbone of Liverpool, a Quaker, he promoted the establishment of district nursing or visiting nursing services for the sick and poor of Liverpool, which was born out of the way. His wife was given nursing care 
when she had fatal illness. He believed that if nursing care could help his wife, who had the money to purchase services, those who were sick and poor might benefit from the needed services even more. Rathbone went ahead to employ Mary Robinson, who was the first nurse to visit the sick poor in their homes. In 1877, he sought for the assistance of Florence Nightingale, who helped him in establishment of training school for visiting nurses in affiliation with the Royal Infirmary of Liverpool. This was very successful and later expanded to the national level under voluntary agencies. While Florence Nightingale was busy helping Rathbone establish a visiting nurse service for the sick and poor, Francis Root was doing the same pioneering work in New York City. Soon after that, district nurses associations were founded in Buffalo, NY, 1885, and Philadelphia, PA, 1886. The district nurses' work focused primarily on the care of individuals. They also instructed family members on personal hygiene. Financial sponsorship changed over time from religious organizations to private philanthropy. Eventually, the district nurses began to receive support from public funds. The Public Health Nursing 1900 to 1970. A greater need arose by the beginning of 20th century, which brought about consciousness of the need to include the health and welfare of the entire public, not just the poor. By 1910, a new federal law made states and communities accountable for the health of their citizens. These trends resulted in the development of specialized programs such as infant welfare, tuberculosis clinics, and venereal disease control clinics. The nursing role was expanded during 1900 to 1970, and Ninia Ward was the first person to use the term public health nursing. Ninia Ward was the first person to use the term public health nursing. Her contributions were enormous, and she and a nurse friend, Mary Brewster, started the Henry Street Settlement in 1893 to provide nursing and welfare services to New York's poor and needy. By the 1920s, public health nursing was acquiring a more professional stature. Also, during this period, the family began to emerge as a unit of service and became the primary focus of care in all community settings. The Community Health Nursing Stage, 1970 to the present. By the late 1960s and early 1970s, many nurses who were not practicing traditional family and population-based public health were working in the community. The practice settings included community-based clinics, offices, work sites, and schools. Community health nursing was introduced as a team in 1980 by the American Nurses Association to broadly identify those nurses whose focus of practice is in total community and oriented to population health. The services address health promotion and illness prevention. This resulted in confusion for both professionals and consumers. In 1984, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Bureau of Health Professionals, Division of Nursing, convened the Consensus Conference on the Essentials of Public Health Nursing Practice. This group concluded that community health nursing was the broader term, referring to all nurses who practice in the community and public health nursing was a part of community health. 
Debate over these terms continues, but the purpose of the professional practice remains the same. Debate over these terms continues, but the purpose of the professional practice remains the same, that is, the provision of quality care to people in the community. Goals of Community Health Nursing The major goal of Community Health Nursing is the preservation of the health of populations through a focus on health promotion, health protection, and health maintenance. Health promotion can be defined as those activities related to individual lifestyle and choices and designed to improve or maintain health. There is an individual as well as community component of health promotion. The individual component seeks to improve health potential through immunizations, adequate nutrition, education, counseling, exercise, and social support. The community component aims to improve the health of the community through multi-sectoral, holistic, political, legislative, and administrative effort, and this is sustained through the maintenance or establishment of health services, healthy working environment, information networks, and self-help programs. Health protection activities refer to activities designed to actively prevent illness, detect illness early, thwart disease processes, or maintain functioning within the constraints of illness. Health maintenance activities involve 1. Perception of health 2. Motivation to change direction if necessary 3. Adherence to management goals 4. Available social and economic resources Disease and injury prevention refers to those activities designed to protect persons from disease and injuries and their consequences. This is in three levels. 1. Primary prevention. Activities directed at reducing the incidence of a disease or prevent a disease before it occurs. 2. Secondary prevention. Activities directed at reducing the prevalence of a disease. It involves screening, early diagnosis, and treatment. 3. Tertiary prevention. Activities directed at reducing the residual defects of a disease to prevent it from further progressing involves rehabilitation service. Primary prevention. Immunization. Secondary prevention. Screening. Tertiary prevention. Rehabilitation services. Characteristics of Community Health Nursing 1. It is a field of nursing 2. It combines public health and nursing 3. It focuses on population and environmental factors that may impact people's health 4. It emphasizes health promotion, illness prevention and wellness 5. It promotes client responsibility and self-care. 6. It uses aggregate measurements and analysis. 7. It uses principle of organizational theory. 8. It involves interprofessional collaboration. Study Session Summary In this study session, we were able to consider and discuss the historical perspective of community health nursing. We as well explained the goals of community health nursing and listed its characteristics to include that it is a field of nursing, it combines public health and nursing, it focuses on population and environmental factors that may impact people's health, ETC. End of study session one.